I'm doing the Oregon College shooting. Um, the shooting took place in the English class in English class in room uh, 15 in Sweat Hill on the edge. And the building is called Snyder Hall. And um, the location is uh, Rosberg, Oregon. And this was a shooting that killed nine people and injured uh, others. And when um, the shooter was Christopher Harper Mercer, and when he got in the classroom, he, he uh, asked um, the students if they were Christian, and he told them to stand up. Then he started to file. And he was a student at the college. And the the day the day before the shooting, he was he he was not in a good mood. And during the shooting, he had, he had six guns on him, and he had thirteen in total. And they said that he could he could have killed mo mostly everyone in the school with all all the guns. And when everyone heard the news, his pa his parents were shocked to hear it, and he, they didn't think he would ever do that in his life. Um, and whenever I get in a fight or with my parents, I, I don't know why I continue fighting with them, because I know I'll never win. And I know the cost will be about seven to nine million. And the um, compared to the U.S. Capitol building, the Capitol building was about eight million or seven point five million. And I won't. Um, my land won't. It won't be. It'll probably be a half acre, or maybe an acre. It won't be that big. And I'll be, I'll have a gift shop outside to help help to raise money. And I'll have uh, nine crosses with the initials to help symbolize that the people who died. And I'll have the m memorial behind that. And the the land won't probably be a half a half million dollars. And my location will be in the, in front of the Washington Monument. And um, the victims are Lucero Al Alcaraz. She was 19, and she was a freshman, and she just started the school in about August. And Trevin Taylor Alshbal, uh, he was 20, and he was he was a part of the EMS and file field. Um, Re Rebecca and Collins, she was 18, and she she loved to smile, and she she loved to have fun. Quinn Glenn Cupel, he was 18, and he loved to laugh and have fun, and he was he was kind of a stocky person. Um, Kim Saltmarsh Detz, um, he was 59, and he was from Roseburg, and he attended the college. Um, Lucas Ebel, he was 18, and he had, he had two brothers and a sister, and he was a great soccer player at the college. Um, Lawrence Levine, he was 67, and he was the teacher at the college, but he, he was, he only teached for part of the time, and some other time at some other colleges. Um, Serena Dawn Moore, she was 44, and... She was a mom and had three kids, and she was a Christian. Um, I, I picked this monument because it was one of the worst shootings in Oregon history. And it was more of a deadly event in U.S. history besides Sandy Hook in 2012. Um, and it was a more recent event. I like, I like looking at more recent events and how they took place and the nine crosses on my monument me represents the people who died the blue or male and the 
pink or female. And this model building is my gift shop. And this is my monument. And I have Sinaido Hall on top because it's the name of the uh, cottage building that was took the shooting. And I want you to learn that look out for suspicious things or like and you, you never know what will happen every day and when things get um when things get bad just keep doing what you do and th good things will happen and just like always listen to your parents and like you you'll never win an argument and that's about it questions for mr richardson about the Oregon Shooting Memorial? Um, it'll probably take about a year to two years to build it. It won't be that big. It'll probably, it won't. It, the buildings won't be that big. Um, where is the location of The location is right in front of the uh, Washington Monument in the green space. Um, no, I don't, but the day before he was, he, like, he, I, he wanted to kill himself, but, like, he went to school, but, well, during the shooting when he was trying to get caught, he did kill himself, but I, I don't know why he targeted Christians. It, yeah, it was just the one room. It was English class. Um, he just attacked that because he knew that he was going to get caught. Well, and he also killed himself because he was going to die anyways. Um, October second on Thursday at 10.15 in the morning. Can you um, explain a little bit? You, you made some comments um, twice about never winning an argument with your parents because they're older than you and they're your parents. Mm -hmm. How does that connect again with the individual shooter? Or? Um, well, his, like his parents were trying to make things go because at home that they, they weren't going as well and his his uh, education wasn't that wasn't that good and just like he because his, his parents didn't know he was going to do it but like if if his parents took time like after school or something when he was younger and told him like not to do stuff he probably wouldn't have done it Um, he was probably 18, 19. He, he was a student at the college. So what types of things have this, has this college and other public colleges or universities done as a way of protecting their students and staff members? Have you noticed any changes in safety plans since this? Um, I have. They're talking about having guns on colleges, but they haven't passed the law yet. Um, I don't know if they will. They, I, there's some good things and bad things about having weapons on you. Um, sometimes you don't know who's out there and will do bad stuff like shootings and other things. So, but on the other hand, good things that you could protect yourself. So, like, on the bad side, you don't know if you will be shot or anything like that. So let's talk about this as a wider topic. Uh, let's say let's say middle schools and high schools, do you feel like this this is a situation that could be avoided or could be less deadly in the future if, if teachers or even some students were allowed to carry weapons to school? Uh, yeah, because then the shooter or whoever's doing it will know that the teachers or some students or some police will be at the school to stop doing the violence.
How likely do you think this might become a state or federal law in the future? Um, I will prob the law um probably be passed probably in the next two to three years. Hopefully, probably to help uh schools so protect the students. You're anticipating that this will most likely mm -hmm. be passed. To help the students and staff members and all the so if myself, Ms. Flippo, or Mrs. Wilson have a handgun on us right now, you would feel more safe? Uh, yeah. That makes me feel really good, Ms. Wilson. Thank you. 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 Thank you.